Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Rex and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make a thumbnail for YouTube exactly like this. So yeah, as you heard that I just said we're gonna be making how to make a YouTube thumbnail. We're gonna make one exactly like this. Let me just leave this right here. We're gonna make one exactly like this. So let's just get on and show you how to do it. First of all, what you wanna do is go to new, file new, and copy the exact thing that I have, 1280 by 720 pixels, and then 72 resolution pixels inch, and then make sure to have RGB color and the background transparent. 8-bit is fine, that doesn't really matter, ignore that, just make it 8-bit at least and color profile does not matter at, at all as well I don't know why I put Apple RGB if I have a Windows 10 PC but that doesn't really matter if you have that you can save it as a preset I already have as you see over here 1280p x times 720p x and then just click OK I want to do just get a decent background I just found one you can just find one by going over here and just going into images and typing like uh, let's just say YouTube fiber background was that it? yeah as you can see carbon fiber background you know just like that really simple and then to have this type of text the font I used was Kenyan coffee if you if you don't know how to install fonts just Comment down below and I'll make a video straight away after the first commenter says how to install fonts. So if you want to get Kenyan coffee just and you don't know how to install fonts, just ask me. So yeah, I use Kenyan coffee. Remember, all your thumbnails, best to have it in caps, capital letters. And yeah, let's just put how hot and just make that like over here. And now the magic is in blending options so go right click on the how to blending options sorry about the mic and then um, go to I start with gradient overlay if you want you can just make a color overlay but I like gradient overlay if you need trait if you're gonna use gradient overlay then just go in the first one over here double click over here double click on that and then after just choose a bright blue go on the right one I apologize if you hear bark dogs as my neighbors are super annoying and then just go on the dark blue kind of here and just make it like that to make it look pretty sexy go to drop shadow go over here go to normal I like put the distance at zero and then put all of this like that it looks pretty sexy like that in my opinion you know you can choose whatever you want and then I go like that and then after that to make it even look to make the final touch for beginners uh, text um, bending options just choose a really bright blue since we're using blue as a as the color kind of choose a really bright bright blue opacity on 100 normal size make it a bit bigger let's see like that that looks okay I think the drop shadow spread it is just a bit too much you know you can just mess around with that mess around with this as well to make it look as good as you can I'm gonna make, I don't know what's what's wrong about this what the fuck is going on here so yeah like that as you can see it's kind of the same you see and then you let's see how I did it how to okay and then put what was it make it yeah. so just put make what the fuck is my tech what's going on okay oh yeah because I'm not even on this make uh so when we put make up we can just make this a little bit bigger see how I make it there uh, like that yeah so just make this a bit bigger oh yeah and if you want to make your text or pictures whatever bigger 
just hold shift and you see the corner here just hold shift and make it better if you don't hold shift this will happen like it'll you know go like that and stuff and then like and then to make this bit easier just copy this uh, layer style and then paste it here and if you want it all to be the same color which is fine then yeah you can leave it like that like like that right there and now we're gonna move on to the famous red and yellow well orange bright orange um, blending overlay like that make it a bit sexy and a bit bigger as well just to fit in you know and then as like paste the layer style as well and once you do that blending options gradient overlay exactly the same but this time you're gonna make it red and then you're gonna make it orange like that I think I put the inner glow way too much yellowish orange now bright orange so yeah it's pretty much the same as I did over there you can put leaven emboss and stuff this I never really use level and emboss because it's not my style. I don't. I never use it. For me, it doesn't really attract me that much. But you can use it. You can use Satan as well. You know, just mess around with these stuff until they look pretty nice. So yeah, just you have that done. Look for a YouTube logo, PNG, and then you. I found this one, so I have it right here. So I just put this over here, a bit bigger, yeah. And then what I did is I put it here and put it, drag it behind over here, or actually all the way behind over here. And then put one of those cursors, you see, this one, I'm going to use this one because I just typed in finger pointer cursor PNG. I mean, I came up with this, I found this, like that. Like that. So that's pretty sexy, guys. If you want me to make any YouTube banners or anything, or just tutorials and that, just ask me as well. I remember the da font, the the font tutorial had to install fonts. Just type down in the comments below. I'll make it straight away the next day or the day if I haven't posted a video yet. And yeah, that's how you make YouTube thumbnails. Really simple, fast. It didn't take that long, and yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. And as always, Rexit is going to exit. Peace. No, 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 no.